you guys, it's uh, Wednesday the 20th, and I've lost my voice since we hunted on Monday. I had a good day at work today, and then Ryan and I slipped down to the River Bottom Farm, and we're on the same food plot, but we've got a southeast wind, and so we're in the, the redneck blind that I shot Kelsey out of, and we slipped in here a little after 2 o'clock, and we've got a couple deer out in the food plot already. It's 49 degrees, south switching to east. So pretty warm for this time of year, but you know, it's deer on their feet at 2.30, so we will see. The primary target is daggers. He really seems to be quite a roamer for um, a seven and a half year old, but I've got the new RX-8 in hand. I've been getting it set up over the last couple weeks, but Really got it dialed in and shot a bunch today, so I feel really comfortable with it. Excited to see what the afternoon brings. I just caught a glimpse into the willows where the other ones are going in. Oh, I can see our stand, okay, in the south line. The only tree with leaves. The only tree with leaves.
young as he is, I'm surprised he's not out here. super fun sit. I mean, for 50 degree weather, uh, we had nonstop action for three hours. I don't know if we saw 60 deer, but it was pretty darn close. It ended up seeing a bunch of our good bucks. Uh, we saw Moss right at the end, Joey B, the Broken 210. Uh, we call him Tiki, Tiki Barber. He came out. Um, that four-year-old 10. And then there's another buck. It's a new buck. Got pictures of him just a week ago, and a big wide framed deer tines kind of wrap in. I think it's a buck we filmed out there last year. He had a messed up side. I need to look back, but um, he's a really good looking deer. The movement pattern was also very interesting. A lot of times they come towards us and work their way to the north, but they just fed at the south end of that, and then they went east through the willows. I think out to the cut corn over there. None of them came close to us. They were 250 yards. The closest was probably 100. Um, so nothing got spooked. You know, they were all just very comfortable. Unfortunately, no daggers. The other buck I'm hoping to see in there is Stubbs. We'll be back out Friday. I think we're going to hunt the River Bottom Farm probably one more time before I start with the kids on the home farm. We'll see.